I sent a photo of myself to four different bakeries at four different skill sets and told them to make me into a cake with an unlimited budget, but they couldn't just use an edible image. We have done this video a few different times with like stuff like a unicorn cake or a Christmas cake or a Halloween cake, but never my face. The thing is when you're trying to make a person into cake, usually what bakeries do is they just take your, your photo and they print it on edible paper and just put that on the cake. But I don't want just an edible image. I really want to see what these bakeries can do. I mean, it's unlimited budget, so I'm guessing something. Make sure to watch the end because we're going price lowest to highest, saving the most expensive for last. Let's bring out the first one. Okay, can I look? Yes, you can. <gasps> so this one was 350. Whoa, not what I expected. I mean, when I said like I wanted this like crazy elaborate cake on my face, I didn't just mean like a crazy elaborate cake and then cut out my I face and stick it on it. I think that they definitely tried to give me my money's worth. Outside of the edible image, sugar flowers are incredibly expensive or hard to make. Either or, they're pricey. And the cakes are completely covered in fondant, and then these are all hand-punched out fondant flowers. All of that would have been expensive. But you can also bring more value to cakes through creativity and execution and just like elevating the design. We look at like the picture that we gave them, they could have tied that like bright pink color more into the cake and more into the design to bring it to life. Like we kind of asked for a cake of you, not a cake with you on it. Yes. I will say I love that the flowers are trickling down and trickling up. I think that those are really pretty. I feel like we didn't really need the feathers and I'm not sure I understand the theme here. It feels like there's just a lot going on and I find it just a little bit busy, but they still did a beautiful job. But cakes are always about the flavor. So what is this one? This one is lemon raspberry, I believe. Oh. Oh, oh I like the inside. That's super pretty. It smells good. Wow, I'm moist. Mm. <laughs> that was like melting your mouth moist. The texture of the cake is really good. The icing is very, very, very sweet. And I will say that it does taste like a chemical flavor. Like there's no real lemon flavor, real raspberry flavor in that. What it is, is just like an extract. So the flavor isn't wow, but it is like a good basic slice of cake. Bring out the next one. You have been giggling. <laughs> you can open your eyes. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Are my shoulders that wide? <laughs> That's what I was laughing at. It's like a football player. It's just like the propor propor <laughs> proportions of it all. It feels like I've been turned into a cartoon character who also plays football. But <laughs> that's super cool. They nailed the necklace and they've even got like more like purple in the roots and coming down to pink. Very like sneaky. Um, but that's usually what you get with fondant hair. Hair is like the most impossible thing to replicate when it comes to cakes. I don't know how they went about the face structure, but that is not easy. So I think it's pretty cool. I can't get over the shoulders. <laughs> even like their, <laughs> even their, their like depth this way is kind of dying. I feel like if they dropped it down a little bit, them being like hunched up and out and like why, like it's just, it's really giving football. Does it look like me? Let's see. No judgment, but I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Okay. But faces are like, like you said, faces are super hard. Faces are super hard. And I will say- There was only one photo that was sent. How do you get somebody's like whole like- Hard, yeah. challenging. But the the points in the picture that they saw, they they did bring those to life in the cake. And I feel like they did a really good job. What was this one's price? Six ninety. So like a lot more, almost twice the price as the other cake. But I will say like, I never wear my eyeliner like that. It's giving more like 90s rocker, rock and roll chick vibes. This cake's got a lot more of a nightlife than you. Yeah, I'm more of like, cozy gamer and Netflix girl. I feel like the eyes are following me wherever it looks and wherever I go. <laughs> Just following oh my me. God, it does. What's this flavor? This one is chocolate cake with strawberries. I think it's just chocolate cake. <laughs> Maybe, maybe the head is just filled with strawberries. I have questions. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of this like maybe pink icing if that's what we're talking about with strawberries. Very, very, very sweet again. Like the tiniest hint of strawberry. I think again, it's an extra. Like the chocolate cake is pretty good, but when I order like a chocolate cake with strawberries, I expect like kind of fresh strawberries or strawberry compote or something like more impactful, but not a bad cake. Question is, does it look like me? Let me know down below. It's the end of the day and I forgot to say this, but don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and you can see this cake at the end. Coming in. How much is this one? This one is 700. 700, okay. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> Similar vibes to the last one, both being ahead, but like completely different cartoons. I feel like this one might look like a little bit more like me though. I think it looks more like you. The details for that extra $10, you get Okay, way sorry, fair enough. Details. Let's establish that this is only $10 more than the last cake. The hair. I feel like they try to replicate those waves instead of like little strands in these big kind of chunks, and I really love it. I feel like they went more like a cartoony, big with the head and small with the shoulders, and that's not taking away from it. You're mainly looking at the, the head. Look how deep this mouth goes. I stare at the more I see the details and how much effort there was in trying to replicate my actual face not just like okay we've created like a girl with purple hair but we've tried to create Lori like this cake is giving me more me it kind of looks like me I wonder if my, I know my hair is a little bit different but <laughs> <laughs> yeah did you see this custom cake board yeah that husband made I'm assuming that's like homemade that's, that's like an assumption Woman can do things too, Kevin. Yeah, we're all gonna call him out. No, her husband does like Kevin, Kevin making his stuff. <laughs> no, that, that's very cool actually. When I said, bring me to life in cake and like make it elevated, they did that. That is crazy, crazy beautiful. Look at the cake's beauty. I mean like, wow. What are you trying to get at, Larry? <laughs> Nothing, why were you trying to get out? <laughs> All right, should we taste it? What's, what's, the, what's the flavor? Matcha. Matcha? Matcha? Matcha. 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 How do you pronounce matcha? Matcha. 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 Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. It's raspberry, raspberry matcha. Raspberry. <laughs> raspberry matcha. Raspberry. Berry? Okay. Oh, I think this might be Rice crispy. Raspberry matcha. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to cut into my head. It feels very weird to like stab myself in the back of the head. Like I will just say like, it's a little, a little unsettling. Yeah, hopefully YouTube's like AI thing doesn't pick up on this and be like, this is violence. <laughs> oh, I love the color. I can really see the matcha. Okay. Mmm, got a lot of raspberry. Mm. I'm gonna try to get some of the, some of the cream. Mm. This like straight compote or jelly is a little bit much, but it with the cream is really nice. Like it's very elevated and yummy. These are so, so, so different. This one looks a lot more like me than this one. For being $10 more, this one gave me so much more detail. But I will say this one nailed the necklace. This one has no necklace. Okay, I'm good. Let's go see the next one now. Okay. Oh my God, this one's so heavy and awkward. Don't break, don't break. That is so stressful. So are you ready for me to come in? Not yet, I gotta grab the camera and put it on the tripod. <laughs> come on in. All right. All right. How much is this one? This is eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> okay. So, wow. For a second, never did I ever imagine them doing something like this. This is so freaking cool. That's an actual real easel, which would have been expensive. And then they like mounted like a sheet cake on it. Definitely does like look a bit like me. The eyes are bit looking into my soul, just a tiny bit. <laughs> but like the colors are stunning. And it's all like bright and fun and colorful like you. Yeah. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely nailed that. I love the cobblestone. I love like the little moss. I love like the plant that's kind of coming up and around. They could have just done like the cake canvas on an easel and then called it a day. Look at the texture of this though. Like it really does feel like they must have just pushed this fondant into the actual texture of a canvas. This was painted with food coloring. That like is blowing my mind. It is not easy to paint, but it's definitely not easy to paint with food coloring. They went in a, like a completely different direction than the other bakers. We wanted me made into cake, right? That's what they all kind of gave, except this is me made into like art cake. Like it really is very artistic and super creative. What is this one's flavor? This one's Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. See, I feel like I can cut like a little chunk here. I really wanted to create some like short content with this, so I wanted to try not to ruin it. Okay, Ferrero Rocher. I don't see any chunks in there, just like creaminess and chocolate. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 
Definitely my favorite flavor cake. This one is really, really, really good. It's moist, it's chocolatey, it's creamy, it's rich, it's well balanced, not too sweet. Very, very yummy piece of cake. I am completely torn on my favorite because I feel like the last one was more on point with the concept. Looked the most maybe like me and I really, really loved it. But this one is just like over the top, so creative and different. I would never have expected something like this. So I think this might be my favorite. You guys let me know down below what you think and which cake you like best and if you thought they were all worth it for the different price points. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love ya.